Shalom family trendsetter. All praises be to the most high power Hashem for allowing us to see another day. I am driving a bigger vehicle today so you will hear more noise than usual. Now before I continue I have to make a clarification on the last video that I uploaded and, and ultimately removed. Um, I was stating in the video that many of us are going to celebrate Memorial Day. So I got the holidays mixed up. There's so many of them in here in the United Snakes of America. You know what I'm saying? Every minute is another holiday every day is another holiday you have to celebrate and spend money so instead of me saying labor day i mentioned memorial day so i guess that was the last holiday that we um, celebrated before uh, labor day came along so i don't know i'm sorry family i just can't keep up with the heathen practice that benefits not black people you know what i'm saying we're out there spending money that we don't have to facilitate or to to entertain guests and then after that you're broke you know what i mean well i made a mistake it is what it is so today i want to talk about a couple of things the first thing i want to talk about or actually mention is that i need y'all family in prayer praying to the most side that we never seen or even hear from but i believe that he does hear our prayers when we sincerely pray to him as long as we're following law statutes and commandments and the dietary law now my nephew was involved with an automobile accident over the weekend um, this past weekend in Long Island and um, it doesn't look good I believe they said um, right now it appears that he's brain dead and um, the prognosis is very dire so I need y'all family to please um, keep him in prayer for those of you who are prayer warriors I'm not talking about but anyway anybody at this point I will accept you know because I know in the Bible it does state that um, God or Jesus doesn't answer sinners prayer and if y'all don't believe me research it is actually in the Bible so I don't even know that's why it's kind of hard for me to worship this God that Christianity presents to us because you know on one hand you try to pray as a sinner for forgiveness but then the Bible tells you and I'll probably put a um, passage on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about so it's kind of hard to serve the God of the Bible because I believe there is two but anyway just stretch forth your hands and ask the most high power our creator narrow it down to the one that created you for some kind of intervention on his behalf you know I view debt very different than many of y'all do I know that you know when you leave this meat suit it doesn't end there you go to get judgment and then based on how you lived your life he puts you somewhere else sometimes you come back to relive out the judgment the final judgment is the destruction of the the wicked one that's on this planet but again you know i'm not i try not to be too sentimental when it comes to death because i have a totally different understanding of death but of course when you know you you you, you let's say the most i choose you to take you out it depends on the circumstances how you go out it's very traumatic if you're involved in a car accident or a gunshot or you know something other than peaceful sleep then yes it is traumatic and it does affect loved ones because we're the one watching you know what's happening and of course it affects us because we don't really have a clear understanding of what death is and of course you're going to miss that loved one so although my heart is heavy i try not to mourn the debt so to speak as opposed to celebrating because at least god forbid you know one of us decide or the most i decide to take one of us out of here at least you know we'll be free from this hell at least this particular hell hopefully we won't go into another so again keep him in prayer um apparently according to backstories that he um bought a new sports car and you know he's a car enthusiast i guess that's the word he loves you know fast cars and every time you know we warn him stop speeding you know many times um family member will drive with him and they have to tell him to tone it down and you know i guess they say the way you live is the way you die and i, I really believe in that a metaphor you know what i'm saying the way you live is the way you die so you know he he lived a fast life and unfortunately that's how that met him and hopefully it's not the final say so i know they said he had bleeding on the brain um he's in a coma right now and the doctor was saying it appears that he had his brain dead i mean you know i don't trust these doctors my sister, fortunately, is a nurse over 20-something years. She's getting ready to go down here to, um, to, to check it out and make sure everything is everything up and up. Because, you know, a lot of time when we go into these hospitals as black people, especially if you're young, 
you know, you find yourself not coming out, you know what I mean? Because they do what they got to do sometimes, and I hate to say it, not a conspiracy theory, but they want to harvest your organs, so they will declare you dead. But I guess what they were saying is that, and it was so ironic that they even said, they said his um, kidney is damaged, his liver is damaged, and um, he broke his femur bone. So, you know, those, I know that sometimes kidney is a, is a, is a great commodity, there's a lot of people in line for kidney, so you know, I mean, I don't trust, you know me, I don't trust these devils. I do not trust these devils, anything they say. So my sister's going down there to verify all of this because, you know, we don't trust them. So put them in prayer, family. And I guess in closing, I just want to rem remind y'all that the selection or the election period is drawing near. Uh, I suspect that there will be some kind of uh, man-made disaster. I think the power might go out. They already mentioned that yet you want to you know start preparing for power outage i don't know how they be knowing these things ahead of time predictive programming i suspect so if you have an opportunity to go out there buy a generator um i wouldn't even say a generator as i mentioned in the last video i actually invested in a solar power generator okay because um if you're running these gas generator you're still going to rely on petrol or gas from the gas station and if the power is out you can't really get refill unless you go and siphon out of your vehicle you know what i mean so i would suggest try to get more towards solar power generator is not it's not cheap but you can get a couple of them for under a thousand dollars maybe possibly 500 bucks but the thing is you know you want to invest in something some quality just look at it like this you know it's an investment for your family you know you don't put a price tag on your family a lot of y'all will spend money on unnecessary, unnecessary stuff, you know, towards your car, your grooming, whatever. I mean, we're in a pandemic right now, according to them. So you can't be worrying about your personal, you know, personal look. Just worry about, you know, long term for your family. If you don't, if you haven't done so already, I mentioned it in many of my videos that y'all need to start stacking away, away non-perishable food items, um, water, a lot of water, you know what I'm saying? That way, God forbid, yeah, I use the word God. I said the most I forbid that there there is a, a man-made scenario, right? Catastrophe or whatever you want to call it. You are prepared because the worst thing, like I said in the last video, the worst thing is to hear your youngins crying for food and you don't have any food to give them. Now, food is readily available, cheap, not, not as expensive now because, you know, you can still go to the Walmart and these dollar stores and stack up while the price is still right. But I suspect once the disaster come into play, it's going to be, price is going to be inflated, right? You see what's happening in California. The most side judgment is, on Cal is in California. I suspect also that they are targeting these democratic states with their harp system or probably themselves causing these fires. So people are not thinking about the election. They're thinking about survival. You know what I mean? That's just my theory because it's just so ironic. All of a sudden now all these fires is breaking out then you have these weather pattern 120 something degrees you know in, 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 in certain areas of the United States of America for me it's just a suspect they do have a system a weather modification machine called a harp system that they can literally uh, manipulate the weather no a lot of y'all don't believe me but you can go ahead and research it for yourself and I suspect that's what's happening as I told y'all during a crisis you cannot remove a sitting president I suspect that Donald Trump despite everything that's coming out with him talking about the military now is a new revelation that he knew about the severity of the so-called pandemic and he downplayed it and i suspect even with all that he's still going to go in still going to be selected or you know i would say selected for a second term in office he needs a second term in office family because should he lose the election and they're able to remove him because he's not going to go out without a fight i also suspect that donald trump will use his base will use his followers cult followers to secure him should he lose the white house you heard the military say they're not going to get involved but again he need the white house you know what i'm saying for a second term or maybe a third and a fourth because if once he's out of there they're going after him big time okay they're going to get him out of there and they're going to lock him up he have a lot of charge pending charges against him and russia actually needs him in the white house because russia need him to bring america to, america to her knees right they got america as a statue of liberty but America right now will be bowing down to Russia. Russia needs to be the next superpower. Russia facilitate Donald Trump. 
you know, as a president because once Donald Trump is in office, or oh, actually he is in office already, but by him being in office family, he's gonna alienate other allies, other countries that usually ally with America. And America got a target on their backs already, and they're gonna attack America if the, the asteroids or whatever is heading our way, or the most High sending an anomaly to destroy the wicked ones. We got next black people, and we need to start preparing spiritually for that. I know y'all believe in Jesus, that Jesus is going to come down somehow and save y'all and wrap y'all up from the great tribulation according to y'all dumbass teaching. But no, you know, the Bible said God helped those who help themselves. So you need to start preparing yourself spiritually first and foremost, following the Lord's statutes and commandments, the dietary law. The Bible is supposed to be a book to guide you. We have a lot of great metaphors, stories, and parables and so forth. But at the end of the day, you need to do more than just, you know, following a damn book because the book... The Bible, I don't, this is how, this is how I view the Bible, right? How is it possible that the Bible is supposed to be our book, according to many Hebrews, right? It said this is our record book. Now, I do understand our record is in this, in this book, um, along with many other records, because anybody can pick up the Bible and get something from it, right? So how is it that we, descendant of slaves, are reading the same book as a slave master, right? The slave master actually presented this book to us, believe it or not, right? This book was given to us by the slave master. The Bible, in the form that it is today, is not the original Bible. We're not reading the original Bible. That's why I always talk about the Bible, because Bible is bullshit. It was created by man, written by man, under the inspiration of God, but which God? The God of this world, which is Satan, okay? Because there's a lot of contradiction in the Bible. If the Bible is in the word of God, you shouldn't have any contradiction in the Bible. It's a lot of contradiction. I've, I made several videos about this Helio Biblis fucking sun book that everybody always talk about the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. The Bible is not the only book out there. There are many books that they have taken out. The Apocrypha, for example. I love the Apocrypha. I, I, I rock with the Apocrypha more than I even rock the whole so-called Holy King James Bible. Because it's a version of a story of a story of a story. And I keep trying to let y'all understand that. But because we are indoctrinated, you come out of Christianity, and then you become a Hebrew Christian, and you're still holding on to that stupid-ass New Testament doctrine. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all say, oh, Jesus wasn't white. He was black. But it's the same story of the virgin birth. A lot of y'all try to say, well, no, it wasn't really a virgin birth. Mary didn't have sex with Joseph. Okay, still a story. Still talk about the Trinity. Still talk about Jesus is God and all this bullshit. Paul, a lot of y'all still follow Paul. Telling you, uh, Paul even told y'all he beguiled y'all. He said that shit. He said, I, I beguiled y'all. He lied to y'all. But yet still, y'all still rock with it. But it is what it is. In closing, family, again, start preparing for the worst. Expect the best. If you have any money in the bank, pull it out like I did. Pull out a couple of... um hundreds of dollars the other day have some you know put away stashed away somewhere not in my home so don't try to come find me you know what i'm saying and i've used that and i actually bought me a, a solar generator about twelve hundred dollars it cost me twelve thirteen hundred dollars but it's a good investment because at least the free energy that we have for right now until they block the sun are they trying to do that at least i can utilize that should the gas station not able to produce gas and with that i say shalom